What's up guys, this video we're gonna go through one of the craziest stories I've ever read on Reddit relationships where a wife of 10 years started potentially cheating on her husband. So I'm gonna go through the whole story and give you my two cents on whether there's actually infidelity going on and what you can learn from his mistakes. Alright, so I've had a few subscribers tell me, dude, you should go on to Reddit Relationships and do a breakdown of some of the crazy shit there. I started going through this and this story really stood out to me because I think, one, it's really tragic and two, it's also kind of ambiguous. Is she cheating? Is she not cheating? So we're going to get to the bottom of that. So the post is, I, 35 male, think after miscarriage, we suffered a much that my wife, 35 female, has spiraled and been cheating on me with potentially multiple partners. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, so let's go through this. This is something I never thought I'd type. My wife, whom I love so much, we've been married for 10 plus years and been together for almost twice that. So they've been together for 20 years. Men in high school got married about 10 years later. Typical high school sweetheart story, which I advise against. I don't think you should get married that early on in life. Moved to suburbs, got a good job, had two kids. Uh, and then one of the kids was a female and one is a special needs autistic kid. So, you know, uh, it's gotta be tough. We've been together and I'm infatuated with this woman every day. Uh, sure, there were fights and spats, but we always made up and I felt like we were all we ever needed. Well, Q2 February 2022, we found out we were going to have a third. We were happy. We have been trying the whole month of January and February to try and make it happen. I initially didn't want to because of finances, COVID, uncertainty, but I came around. As I'm changing jobs for a much better paying one, leaving a job I loved, knowing that I needed the funds to properly support the family, especially my wife planned to take mat, uh, maternity leave. We find out the day I signed my offer that my wife has what is called etopic pregnancy and it wasn't viable and we ruined and we're ruined and destroyed and this sucks like this is really tragic i feel bad for you know this family she more so i tried to be strong for the both of us but it was really really tough on her and i could see it she had a few options including chemicals chemo drugs and letting it pass naturally which she chose the latter however from then on i started to see a shift in her mood and attitude Ooh. she started caring for herself more from march and april running almost every day and getting back into shape that she once felt she was happy with i loved her regardless but she wanted to love herself she started becoming more confident yet more distant for me okay that's always a red flag when your girl's becoming more distant doesn't necessarily mean she's cheating but definitely means something is up i'm skipping a ton of detail here but she started drinking every night a glass of wine or a beer and instead of bringing me one like she used to she just drank it alone or sat in the kitchen when i was waiting for her upstairs to go to bed why do i think she's cheating for about two months plus maybe she's been doing that thing i've read in almost every every our relationship post about cheating and fidelity. She's hiding her phone. When I come around, she's swiping to the home screen. She's sitting in the bathroom or the couch or in bed with her phone angled away from me and doesn't want me near it. That is a major red flag, right? Because if you have nothing to hide, then why would you need to do this, right? So if my girlfriend ever started doing that, that would be a major red flag. However, I would not wait two months to bring it up. Like the first time it happened, or maybe the second time I'll bring it up, be like, hey, what's up? And look, I'm not the type of guy that like wants to go through his girlfriend's phone. I've never done that. But if something was shady, I probably would be like, hey, like, I need to see your phone just once, but like, you know, for whatever reason, I don't trust you, right? She's always on Facebook. I see her sometimes on Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, but that time I'm able to see the phone, there aren't any texts with other men's names. Either she has them named as women or she actively deletes them. Could be either one. The sex we have to, together, by the way, has changed. It's been better and more enthusiastic in the last few months. However, she's been asking or making me go down her more. Use my fingers and vibrate for extended periods of time. Uh, that in of itself, not a red flag. You know, she's maybe just becoming more sexually, whatever, uh, you know, dominant. She also asks for it from behind and keeps her eyes closed and doesn't want me to talk or say anything because she loses focus. Ooh, that one is a little different. Like she doesn't want to look or talk to you. That could potentially mean that she lost attraction, right? Uh, of course, I could just be paranoid. However, as part of my old job, I was given a GPS tracking device to test. I installed them both on our cars because, well, there's been car thefts, but really it's just to build data sets for the tracking software. I know she takes detours to places and when I try calling her when she's late coming home or going out of extended periods of time, she doesn't pick up my call. Major fucking red flag right there. She's going to random places, right? And then she doesn't pick up the phone. Yeah, that's a big red flag. She also sent her Google photos to our joint email account. I looked through some of the pictures, lots of racy, but not any nude photos, but certainly she's changed her profile pics and selfies on her social profiles to just her. Big red flag. 
your wife or your girlfriend, right? You have photos. Now look, you, if your girlfriend doesn't have any photos of you on her social media, that in of itself, not a major red flag. However, if she used to have photos of you guys together, especially when you're married, and then she just changed it to all photos of herself, that's a huge red flag in of itself. The smoking gun, <laughs> this gets worse. I found some videos and pics in the Google Photos archive folder that basically have her fingering herself and speaking naughty things to someone saying, I'm thinking of you or you think of me and things to that effect. Okay, if, as, if she hasn't sent you those videos, which I'm assuming she hasn't, that is definitely the smoking gun. Like at this point, it's a no-brainer that this chick is cheating on this guy. I'm sorry this isn't more detailed, but I'm fighting sadness as my wife is sitting right near me. I can't even look at her. But I'm thinking for sure she's messing around. Her Google search history has been kind of weird and she's been staying up late on her phone. She's usually up around 4 a.m. on her phone texting or angling away from me. I don't know what to do. She's always said if I were cheat on her, she'd end the marriage. So there's some irony here. Uh, yeah, so this wife, I would say 99, you never know certainly, but 99.9% .9 chance she's cheating on him. I mean, there's too many red flags here. I think the biggest ones is the phone angling, all the random detours, her not picking up her phone, and of course, the videos of her fingering herself that she hasn't sent to her husband. Like, why else would she need her? And let's not forget her changing her social media photos to that of her. Like, why would she do that? Uh, maybe for work, potentially, but too many red flags to line up. So yeah, uh, so this chick is definitely cheating on him. And this is so sad because this guy sounds like he's been a really good husband, like he's been supportive, he's done all the right things. And this shows you that, you know, this American dream of like, oh, marry your high school sweetheart, get a house, you know, get a white picket fence, have two and a half kids is largely bullshit because stuff like this happens all the time. This guy's not unusual, right? Marry your high school sweetheart and then something happens in the relationship and then you start getting cheated on. And who do you think is gonna initiate this divorce? I guarantee you it's gonna be her. So what do I think this guy should do? I think he should immediately confront her. Now look, I don't obviously don't mean in any kind of aggressive or violent way. I just mean sit her down and be like, look, I know what's going on, I want the truth. And I would keep pressing her until she gives me the truth. Uh, and the only way I would let it drop is she, if she lets me go through her phone. Now look, there's a very small chance that this could all be a series of coincidences and this guy could be paranoid. And I'm definitely not advocating that you're like the paranoid guy, always check your girlfriend's phone. I personally never do that. But if my girlfriend was ever acting super shady like this, multiple things, I would insist on that. I'd be like, look, if you have nothing to hide, let me check your phone once, you can check my phone, right? But if you have nothing to hide, then it shouldn't be an issue, right? I'd rather have my girlfriend or wife think I'm a little paranoid or jealous rather than be cheated on. Because again, like, do you think this marriage is gonna last? Like, yeah, they have kids and all that, but the minute the wife starts sleeping around with other guys, especially if it's continuously, she starts losing respect and attraction for the husband. And you can see that being manifested by the fact that she only wants to get fucked from behind and she doesn't even want to look at him. She has lost respect and attraction for her husband through largely no fault of his own, right? And it fucking sucks, but well, that's what's going on. So him just kind of putting up with it, it's not the real call. He needs to confront her and then kind of go from there. I mean, personally, what would I would do? I mean, in an ideal situation, I obviously leave the woman, it is a little tricky because they have kids together, but I think it's better to be separated and honest and happy than be together and miserable. I can tell you my parents, you know, they were together for a while, they got separated when I was in my mid-20s, and both of them are so much happier now than when they were trying to be together. And they're both really good people, they're both honest, but they were just making each other miserable. And this is what's gonna happen in this situation unless the guy faces the hard truth and does something about it. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and show me that you're not cheating on me by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification because I am going to look through your YouTube search history. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.